What's up guys, my name is Brandon and after releasing two beta versions last week, Apple decides to roll out iOS 10.2 beta 6 this week. So in my video for beta 5 on Friday last week, I mentioned that the GM version should be here either this week, which is today, or next week. And obviously now it looks like the GM version will be here next Monday. So of course, nothing is set in stone, but it's just that iOS betas don't normally go past beta 7. They usually don't even go past beta 6, but beta 7 is still rare. So I'm definitely assuming that this is the last beta of iOS 10.2. So anyways, before we get into more of that, let's just talk about what's new in iOS 10.2 beta 6. And once again, there's not much new at all. As usual, since we are in the later beta stages, you shouldn't be really expecting that many new features or bug fixes or anything like that because most of those do occur in the first you know one beta one beta two and beta three after that it's mostly just very small bug fixes so anyways taking a look at the build number for beta six you can see that it's 14 c 90 just one number after 14 c 89 which is what the build number of beta five was this also makes beta six the third straight short numbered build number which a lot of people kind of affiliate short numbered build numbers with the gm version which is not always true but it's still a lot of speculation out they're saying things like that anyways as always i like to tell you guys the first thing i noticed after installing every beta version and the first thing i noticed in this beta 6 is and it happened right away is that it's a lot snappier i mean it started when i unlocked the device for the very first time after the install everything just to be it seems to be a lot quicker and a lot more smooth and polished than beta 5 was now i'm not going to get into the geekbench scores or anything like that because they don't really tell you the whole story but what i can tell you is that this beta version felt a lot snappier once again from the unlock process all the way through, I mean, I was looking for new features and bug fixes in this beta version six. I couldn't find any, obviously, but when I was looking through, you know, the messages, the emojis and all that stuff was just felt snappier. It just felt a lot smoother and more polished than beta five, which again, would make sense if this really is the last beta version, it would make sense for it to be a more polished version of beta five. As I mentioned, there doesn't seem to be any bug fixes that I'm aware of, but the reminders bug is still present in beta six. Unfortunately, it still doesn't send you alerts and the reminder just shows up randomly on your lock screen without actually alerting you. So I really hope they fix this in a later version of 10.2. Now, one thing I do want to touch on relating to the iOS 10 jailbreak is that Apple is not trying to delay the iOS 10 jailbreak. They do not mind jailbreaking. So if you watch the video I made, like I think it was like last month, I explained why Apple is not trying to stop jailbreaking. So if you're interested in watching that video, I'm not going to explain it all in this video because this video isn't about that, but you can find that video down in the description. I think it's really important to understand that Apple is not trying to end jailbreaking. And if you're interested in anything else about the iOS 10 jailbreak, make sure to check out my playlist containing all of my iOS 10 jailbreak updates. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 10.2 beta six. Again, nothing really has changed, but it does feel more polished than beta five. So again, I'm assuming that we will get the final version of iOS 10.2 next Monday. And of course, I'll be sure to make a video on that when it does get released. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop this video a like. Also make sure to subscribe for more future iOS beta videos, iPhone hacks, news, and so much more. So thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you soon.